Well, you a low information voter. Welcome to the study of American government. In this course we're going to be using as a text, We the People by Thomas E. Patterson. In 1991, the political scientist and author Samuel Popkin coined the term in his book, Low Information Signaling. This term he used to refer to candidates who would lure citizens into the voting, voting booth to vote for them, not on the basis of their uh, stand on certain policy issues, but more based on their personality appeal as opposed to where they stood on the issues. Low information signaling, uh, the term became the genesis of another term, low information voters. Low information voters were characterized as individuals who were poorly, generally poorly informed about politics and chose their candidate based on their image over where they stood on the issues, based on their style as opposed to their substance that they offered. We're going to talk about the antidote to low information voting, which is political thinking. We're going to look at various uh, analytical tools that have been developed by political science to help one become an informed participant in the uh, political process of American government. We're also going to look at the obstacles that stand in the way of political thinking, primary obstacle being an unwillingness on behalf of citizens to take, make the effort to inform themselves about things political. Next, we're going to look at political culture. We're going to look at the very core values of American political culture, beginning with liberty as opposed to tyranny. We'll look at uh, individualism as opposed to statism. We will look at equality as opposed to a favored class. And finally, we'll look at self-government as opposed to statism. Finally, we're going to close out this chapter by looking at the three systems that characterize and or guide the American political government. Those systems would be, number one, we are a democracy. Number two, we have a constitutional system. And number three, we have a free market system. Well, with that brief introduction, let's dive into political thinking and political culture.